Okay. Hello po uli mga mamin sir. Ito po yung part 2 na request sa akin ng aking kapatid na si Ian Manal about fraction. Okay? Kasi meron akong part 1 nito sa fraction. Ito naman yung part 2 ng fraction. Okay. Ayan, fraction. Ipaliwanag ko na kung ano ibig sabihin ng fraction sa part 1. Ngayon, mo, dito tayo sa mga exercises. Kasi yung part 1, explanation lang siya about fraction. Dito naman is exercises. Okay po. Okay. Exercises. Number 1 tayo. 2 fifth plus 1 fourth. Okay. Gagawin nyo lang po. I-vertical nyo po siya. Okay? 2 fifth saka 1 fourth. I-multiply nyo po ang kanilang denominator na 4 times 5 equals 20. Then after that one, 20 divided by 5 equals 4. Then 4 times 2 equals 8. Kaya siya naging 8, 20. 20 divided by 4 equals 5. 5 times 1 equals 5. Kaya siya naging 5, 20. Ang purpose po niyan, kung bakit ganyan ang ginawa natin strategy, para maging parehas yung kanilang mga denominator. Kasi pag parehas ang denominator, gagawin nyo lang copy the denominator, then add the numerator. 8 plus 1, 5 equals 13. 13 over 20. Ayan po yung sagot sa number 1, na 2 fifth plus 1 fourth. Okay? Ito tayo sa number 2. Okay? 4 and 2 fifth plus 3 and 2 third. Okay? Ang gawin nyo, yung whole number na 4 at saka 3 i-add ninyo. 4 plus 3 equals 7. Tapos mag-focus na kayo sa fraction na 2 fifth at saka 2 third. Muli, i-add ninyo, i-multiply ninyo yung denominator. 5 times 3 equals 15. Then 15 divided by 5 equals 3. Then 3 times 2 equals 6. Okay? Next, 15 divided by 3 equals 5. Then, 5 times 2 equals 10. Kaya nag siya naging 10, 15. Then, add din yung numerator. 6 plus 10 equals 16. Copy the denominator, 1. Okay. Since na ito po ay isang halimbawa ng isang improper fraction, okay, sa part 1, tinuro ko na siya kung paano siya maging uh, mixed number. I-divide nyo lang. 16 divided by 5 Kaya 16 divided by 15 equals 1. May remainder pa na siya na 1. Okay? Ayan yung remainder. Kaya, 1 and 1, 15. Okay? After nyo ma-change ito sa mixed number, i-add nyo yung whole number dito sa nina sa inad sa mga whole number na ito na 7. 7 plus 1 equals 8. Therefore, ang tamang sagot is 8 and 1, 15. Okay po? Number 3 tayo. 1 half plus 1 fourth plus 3 fourth. Okay? Kapag ganyan tatlo yung fraction na i-add mo, since kung ikaw ay medyo bagwan pa dito sa ganitong klase, ang gawin mo, mag-focus ka muna sa 1 half plus 1 fourth. Mamaya na yung 3 fourth. Okay? Then, 2 times 4 equals 8. 8 divided by 2 equals 4. Then, 4 times 1 equals 4. Kaya siya 4, 8. 8 divided by 4 equals 2. 2 times 1 equals 2. 2, 8. Then, add the numerator. 4 plus 2, 6. Copy the denominator, 8. Since ang 6, 8 ay hindi siya lowest term. Kasi kapag 6, 8 ang sagot ninyo, mali po yun. Naituro ko na rin po ito sa part 1. Kailangan i-lowest term ninyo. Yung 6 at saka 8, both of them are divisible by 2. 6 divided by 2, 3. 8 divided by 2, 4. Kaya 3 fourth. Okay? Nakuha mo na. 3 fourth. Saka ka mo nang i-add yan ulit sa 3, dito sa 3 fourth din. 3 fourth plus 3 fourth. Since na parehas yung kanilang denominator na 4, copy the denominator lang na 4. Then add the numerator. 3 plus 3 equals 6. 6 fourth. Both of them are divisible by 2. 6 divided by 2, 3. 4 divided by 2, 2. Okay. Kaya 3 halves. Okay. Pero, yung 3 halves, siya ay isang halimbawa ng improper fraction. Kailangan mo naman siyang i-change ngayon sa mix number. Okay. Kailangan mo siyang i-mix sa mix 
number. 3 divided by 2, 1. Meron siyang remainder na 1. Then copy the denominator 2. Okay? Naituro ko po ito sa explanation ko sa part 1. Kung medyo na ano ka, punta ka lang po sa part 1 ng fraction ng grade 6. Number 4. Number 4 tayo. 3 fourth plus 1 half. I'm sorry, 3 fourth minus 1 half. 3 fourth. I gawin nyo ulit. Ang, oper ang operation, minus po ah, Subtraction. 2 times 4 equals 8. 8 divided by 4 equals 2. 2 times 3 equals 6. Okay? So now, 8 divided by 2 equals 4. 4 times 1 equals 4. Then, subtract. Dahil sa operation ay subtraction. Therefore, 6 minus 4 equals 2. Then, copy the denominator, 8. I-lowest term nyo po. Ang lowest term po niyan is 1 fourth. Okay po. And Number Number 5 po tayo. Number 5. 7 and 3 fourth minus 5 and 1 half. Okay. Operation is subtraction. I-minus nyo muna yung number na 7 minus 5 equals 2. Then focus na tayo sa 3 fourth. 4 times 2 equals 8. Then, 8 divided by 4 equals 2. Then, 2 times 3 equals 6. 8 divided by 2 equals 4. 4 times 1 equals 4. Then, since ang operation ay subtraction, 6 minus 4 equals 2. Copy the denominator, 8. The lowest term mo siya, 1 fourth. Okay, bakit? Both of them are divisible by 2. 2 divided by 2, 1. 8 divided by 2, 4. Tapos, kunin mo na yung kaninang sinubtract mo na 7 minus 5 na 2. Ilagay mo na rito. Okay. Therefore, ang tamang sagot is 2 and 1 fourth. Yan po yung tamang sagot sa number 5. Okay po. Oh, word problem naman tayo ngayon. Word problem. Okay. Mike bought 3 and 1 half kilograms of rice while Bong bought 2 and 1 fourth kilograms. Ang tanong, how many kilograms of rice did bought buy? Okay. Kailangan, once you read, you need to understand. Yan ang importante sa word problem. Tingnan nyo, may salitang bought. Ibig sabihin, pag pinagsama mo, yung biniling bigas ni Mike at saka ni Bong, ilang kilo lahat. Therefore, ang operation na gagamitin ay addition. Okay? Ayan. 3 and 1 half plus 2 and 1 fourth. I-add mo yung whole number. 3 plus 2, 5. Tapos, dun turn sa fraction. 1 half, 1 fourth. Tapos, i-multiply nyo yung kanilang denominator. 4 times 2, 8. 8 divided by 2 equals 4. 4 times 1, 4. Naman tayo. 8. 8 divided by 4 equals 2. 2 times 1 equals 2. Then add 4 plus 2 equals 6. Copy the denominator. 8. Lowest term is 3 fourth. Okay. Then kunin nyo na yung 5. Kaya ang tama sagot is 5 and 3 fourth kilograms of rice. Tandaan nyo po sa word problem, kailangan malinaw ang sagot ninyo. Kapag ang sagot nyo lang ay 5 and 3 fourth, minamalian po yan. Kasi, in mathematics, numbers have, have a, has a lot of meaning. Napakarami kahulugan ng numbers sa mathematics. Okay? Kaya kung tinatanong ay how many kilograms of rice, eh di ilagay nyo, 5, 5 and 3 fourth kilograms of rice. Yan po yung binili pag pinagsama ang binilin bigas ni Mike at saka ni Bong. Okay po. Punta tayo sa number... And number two, Honey bought three and three fourth kilogram of ripe mangoes and four and one half kilograms of apples. And tanong, how many kilograms of fruits were left if she gave two and two fifth of each kind to her cousin? Ibig sabihin nito, itong three and three fourth binawasan yun para ng two and two fifth. Tapos ito two four and one half binawasan yun ng two and two fifth kasi each kind. Okay, each of kind. Okay, kaya kapag ganyan, buna mo tayo dito. 3 and 3 fourth minus 2 and 2 fifth. Okay.
Okay? Tapos, isubtract natin. 3 minus 2, 1. Okay? Fraction tayo. 3 fourths out of 5. 5 times 4, 20. 20 divided by 4 equals 5. 5 times 3 equals 15. 20 divided by 5 equals 4. 4 times 2 equals 8. Then, subtract the numerator 15 minus 8 equals 7. Then, copy the denominator 8. Tapos, kunin mo na yung whole number na 1. Kaya, 1 and 7, 20. Okay? Next, dito tayo. Sa, ito na. 4 and 1 half. Sa apples na, minus 2 and 2 fifth. E minus 2, 4 minus 2 equals 2. Tapos, 1 half and 2 fifth. 5 times 2, 10. 10 divided by 2 equals 5. 5 times 1, 5. 10 divided by 5 equals uh, 2. Then, 2 times 2, 4. Okay, then, subtract 5 minus 4 equals 1, 10. Tapos, kunin mo na yung 2. Kaya, dito sa 4 and 1 na, pag binawasan ng 2 and 2 fifth, 2 and 1, 10. Then, after that 1, kasi dal Ilan daw yung natira sa kanila? Ilan yung natira? Okay? Ibig sabihin, pagkatas mo makuha yung dalawang difference, i-add mo siya. Okay? I-add mo siya. Ganito. Ayan. 1 and 7, 20 plus 2 and 2, 10. I-add mo yung number. 1 plus 2, 3. Then, 7, 20, 1, 10. 10 times 20, 200. 200 divided by 10, 20 equals 10. 10 times 7, 70. 20 divided by 10 equals ano, 20. 20 times 1 equals 20. Then, i-add ninyo. 70 plus 20 equals 90. Copy the denominator. 200. Both of them are divisible by 10. 10 divided by... Uh, 90 divided by 10 equals 9. 200 divided by 10 equals 20. Tapos, kunin mo yung number na 3. Kaya siya naging 3 and 9, 20 kilograms of fruits were left. Yung, yan po yung natirang uh, prutas na mangga. Ano ba yung nawa? Mangga, mangoes, at saka apples. Yan po yung natira kay honey. Kasi binigyan niya ng 2 and 2 fifth of each kind na prutas. Okay? Sana po may natutunan po kayo at na uh, as long as sa kapatid ko, sana naibigay ko yung request mo about fraction. Okay, muli po. Maraming maraming po salamat. Don't forget to subscribe, then click the notification button para lagi kang updated sa aking video. Once again, thank you so much.